Hello guys, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial about how to get older snapshot versions. Usually for snapshots you can just go all the way down and get the one you want. However, it only actually goes so far. If you scroll down you can see that it only goes up to 13w24a, it doesn't go back any further, despite the fact that there are actually snapshots before then. Usually you probably won't want to access these. But if you want to do like a version history video for one of these older versions, here is how you can here is how you can download these directly. So basically, what you want to do, go on your web browser, search, and what I like to do is go into the Minecraft wiki. Basically, go on the Minecraft wiki, then search up any Minecraft version you want. So for example, I'll just search up 1.17 for simplicity. One. Once it loads, go all the way to the bottom of the page, and then look, you can see all these version history. So, if you want to get one of the versions before then, as you can, if you want to get one of the versions before then, so, as you can see, I want 11w47a. Basically, what you want to do, go on the page, and it should have some downloads for a client and a .json. The first thing you want to do, click the client, click keep, and as you can see, it'll download a folder called Minecraft.jar. Click Windows R and enter percentage app data percentage dot Minecraft dot Minecraft versions. And as you can see, we have all your versions you've accessed. So what you want to do, click right click, new folder, click enter the, the number of your snapshot. So for example, like these ones, I would call it 11w47a. Oops, I accidentally entered it wrong. But don't worry, right click and click rename if you enter it wrong. Just click, I, I already did this earlier, so that's why it's that's why it's like that. You wanna go on 11w47a, 11, go on 11w47a, delete that because, don't delete that. I put that there before because I did this earlier, but that's besides the point. Basically, what you want to do is go is go enter File Explorer and go into your downloads and drag the Minecraft jar. You can also do it from the bottom bar. Drag it in, right click, right click, click rename 11w47a. The next thing you want to do is go click on new, click txt and change and change the file extension to a .json file also rename this to 11w do whatever your snapshot num number is i mean snapshot so click enter and as you can see now we've got an json file next thing you want to do click on the json link it will just bring you to a page with all the data basically what you can do is just go down and select everything Right click, click copy, go on to this and go back, click the JSON file. I use Notepad++ since it's easier, but I, but I don't think it really matters. If it does, if it does, then you can probably search up um, good tools for this. So what you want to do, click Control V and now it's copied up your JSON. So this is all the code you need. Click the save button, close off, and now you are safe to close this. The next thing you want to do, close Minecraft the launcher, relaunch it, and now what you want to do, go into installations, click new installation, then scroll down to where it would be located. Scroll down to where it would be located, so for example mine is going to be in 1.1. So as you can see here, it should pop up here, snapshot snapshot 11w47a you can choose the options like for example i have 16 gigs of ram so i would change it to 8g but it doesn't really matter just click save and boom you've got it now click on it and click play now once you load it click it'll click finalizing and look minecraft has loaded minecraft 11w47a as you can see everything is worth it working fine i can create i can for example create a new world and you know play so yeah so that's it for this video today guys hopefully you guys enjoyed it make sure to like subscribe and comment if you found this useful so yeah bye